Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Marvel Snapcast. I'm your host, Ken, here with our host, Valentine, and back by popular demand again, <laughs> Willow. How you guys doing? What's up? Doing great. Fantastic. How's this new season treating you guys? Amazing. Loving it. <laughs> yeah, I, I started off pretty bad, actually. I had a pretty bad run initially, uh, mm-hmm. mainly because I ended my stream essentially after the season reset. And then okay. I was like, oh, now that I'm not on stream, let me just play with a bunch of random science stuff like oh, Mr. No. Negative Galactus and like really just random stuff that was I knew it was bad. But it was just like it's one of those things that you just want to, you know, the science it out and see if it works. And uh, right. that ended up that that left me at like rank 66. So I'm climbing out of that pit now. I'm back up at oh, 78. So, you know, we're chilling. But <sighs> yeah, here's what it is. <laughs> I feel like I ran into almost like an opposite. A problem where I really wanted to play with Silver Surfer and like try and do some weird stuff and just felt this innate just need to hit infinite first and not even touch Silver Surfer. I think I played one game with him and then immediately loaded up the Galactus deck and was just like, well, I got to climb. I can't can't do anything else until I climb. And then sure enough, Silver Surfer got me to infinite. So <laughs> nice. That's amazing. Cool. He's, yeah, Listen, I had kind of the same experience with willow i got silver surfer and i was like all right let's try a bunch of different crap with it let's use yeah. shuri let's use this i dropped to about 60 something as well i'm um, back at 75 though um but yeah so that's the, that's the season we're in we are at the power cosmic season with of course the main card being the silver surfer um a lot of people were excited for this card um i know val was definitely excited especially thinking about cerebro at the time hmm. um but I'm sure you haven't paired him with Cerebro yet, have you? <laughs> I haven't, and um, I don't. I don't know that it's going to be great with Cerebro, honestly. It's. I saw someone running a five power Cerebro list with uh, Silver Surfer, where all of the three cost cards are two power, and oh. then all of the other cards are five power. So I mean, Silver Surfer would would essentially bring all of the five. three cost cards to five, and then you're essentially just playing Cerebro five. It's actually a cool that, list, but it had Titania cool. in it, so I didn't I, try it. I run a pretty or I've run a pretty similar like Cerebro two slash three before where you basically mm-hmm. run Cerebro two, but you have a pocket blue Marvel and it just turns into Cerebro three naturally. So okay. I I could. All right. That's actually a good idea. I might have to try that. That's there you go. I'll see if it. I can find the list and I'll send it to you if you want. Perfect. Yeah. So Silver Surfer came out. Um, they have some cool variants, of course, the collector and the infinite. Um, I don't know if we could pull it up here, see if it shows up. Yes, there it is. So this is the Infinite variant that comes on the Season Pass, as well as the Collector variant here. So these two cards are amazing. Of course, I can't wait to get the Infinite one, and we have the Collector. Is there any of these cards? Or which one of these two variants do you guys feel is the best? That Collector is pretty dope. I don't really yeah. like either of these. Oh, I got you. But Really? The Infinite, I think I'm going to definitely get some time with this season with She-Hulk. Yes, yes. Mm. Definitely some uh, some shenanigans to be had there with Moon Girl, double She-Hulk, and an Infinite. But yep. um, I, I think this season pass is fantastic, by the way. Just if, if oh, you're yeah. a, if you're like an average player and you're not going to have like, you know, hundreds of variants, I think you can have this collect the variant and this Infinite variant and never feel like you need another variant for those two cards. Like these, these two variants are fantastic. I really, I think if I had to choose between these two, I like the collector one the most just because there's so many little references and stuff on the card. And it's right. pretty cool. Love the Howard the Duck. That's yeah, pretty yeah. awesome. Right here. Perfect. There's. It All seems right. like there's some deep cuts in there because I definitely don't recognize some of what's going on in that card. But it's also hard to find like a good big version of it. Yeah, mm. I can't even. I yeah. saw the Infinity Gauntlet, which was cool. It's like in yeah. the middle. Is oh, Uncle yeah. Ben here? This is Uncle Ben. Really? Oh my God. Is that Uncle Ben? Actually, let's yeah. See we, you, let's see how we can zoom in. If you right click it and open image, you can get a nice big version of it. How about that? Can uh, they get deeper? Oh, that get might deeper. be Uncle Ben. I think you're right. There's definitely Lockjaw, Howard the Duck. Um, I don't know what those bugs are. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe broodlings. I don't know. I don't know anything about broodling. I'm not, not sure. This. Lockjaw and sure. Cosmo, though, for sure. Yeah. Cosmo, Lockjaw, the Howard the Duck, the Gauntlet. Uh, no, there's a sword here, it looks like. Oh, I think there's a hammer. Isn't Thor's hammer in there? Uh, oh, Mjolnir, really? I don't see it. But Maybe it's behind the logo. 
I thought I saw a hammer in there before. Yeah, something. Yeah. Oh, you know what? The artist, the artist posted a picture without the title on there, and I think that and is the behind the uh, okay. so here. Cool, cool. All right. So once we uh get it nice and out of the frame, probably we'll be able to see it better. So yeah, so that was the what's on the season pass, of course. And then um, how do you guys feel about the rank now having strictly no card back? All the card backs are in the season um, pass. And uh, we are left with the amazing title for the <laughs> infinite, which Valentine got today. How do you guys feel about that? I miss the card backs. Yeah, yeah. I think including yeah. titles in the track in general is a good idea. Um, yeah. It like the um, what's what was the first one? I'll spare your puny planet or whatever. Planet. Mm -hmm. That's like a that's going to be a lot of free to play players' first title, I think. That's fair. Oh, uh, yeah, true. D titles, unless you are full series, no, just rank 500. See yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. It, it, there is some limit on it to um, the collection level, but like, so that's cool that it, pretty much everyone's going to get a title because that's what uh, 40. Yeah, that's cool. That's pretty. Gold. You got a yeah. pretty good shot at hitting 40 this season, I would That's say. Fair. Um, so everybody gets a title. I do miss the card backs. I'm glad the credits are all still there and the gold is there. But Herald of Galactus, how do you I feel wish, about it? I wish there was another card back. That's all. I uh, agree with One of those season pass isn't cool, but. I don't think I would worry about it too much. They seem to change out the rewards in this season, uh, the rank season, a lot. So this might just be something they're experimenting with. I'd imagine eventually they'll have like an exact set of things that you can expect every season. But for now, it seems like they're just more or less mixing it up until they find something that they're comfortable with. I almost um, want them to keep mixing it up. I like, yeah, yeah. and I'm, I'm fine if like every so often I'm like, eh, I don't love this, which is, that's okay. That makes me like the things I like more when yeah. right. we Correct. still get the do we still get the same number of card backs right we do right yes it's just they're two. all in the season pass now yeah that's correct right yeah that's okay correct. Yes. They're, just, they're just making sure both paid for i'm pretty sure either of them are oh, okay. yeah they're both paid for gotcha yeah you have to have the battle pass for those that's the other uh, sorry, one complaint i've seen in a similar regard of like changing things up with what you get out of the battle pass is no free variants of course read a nice clickbaity article about that um and i mean oh well i guess <laughs> like you, you yeah. still get free variants in the collectors right in the collecting cash so in the reserve I mean, and in the cat yeah. and in the right. season rewards you just don't get your right. season specific stuff the the Correct. two that you would get for free out of the battle pass you no longer get they're still yeah. there they're just not free Right. But at some point, do you think they will make it free? Meaning after the season's over, does it get shuffled into the collection level cash? I think so. Yeah. Like, well, they're not. I'm they're not, not sure. Specific. It seems to be the case that season, with the exception of the stuff that happened in beta, it seems to be season stuff is pretty specific to seasons. Oh, that's true. I've, I've okay. always, I think I've been operating of the mindset of like everything is collectible through cash eventually. From yeah, but that, that was the mindset we were in from beta because they said that yeah. everything was going to return from beta so that non-beta players didn't miss out. All right, so um, maybe those are just not... But but I'm speaking strictly about the mystery variants. Oh, the mystery they're, variants. That's Yeah, the, yeah of course. I'm uh, sorry. I thought we were referring those to the are variants. Just whatever. Yeah. The, the, yeah, the variants for the season, that's probably it. You get them there or nowhere. Yeah. But the mystery variants, I mean, is interesting because my mystery variants were ones that were in my store. So... I don't think they were anything special, right? Well, right yeah. No, yeah, yeah. They're just they're just random from the pool right. of variants yeah. that exist. I will right. say it, it's kind of nice that they are exclusive to the season because season pass variants kind of have like an inherent uh, devalue at first because it's like, oh, everyone has this variant, but then eventually, like three years from now, that's like a rare variant. You know what I mean? Because because yeah. no one no one who's playing at that time has the ability to get it. So it's kind of like a trade off of. At first, everyone has this variant that it doesn't feel special, and later right. it will feel more special. I'll yeah. tell you, man, I don't play a lot of Fortnite, but when I play Fortnite and I see <laughs> one of those season passes that I missed, and there's a skin like a Doctor Doom yeah, that want. I yeah, really yeah. wish I had, mm -hmm. I envy those people with them. So yeah, give it a give it a year. And absolutely. Oh, yeah, sure. One last thing for me about the ranked reward changes is, uh, I I feel like 
I'm so so happy about the infinite reward, even though it is just a title, because I know a lot of people aren't happy about that. But it, it feels like a title that's made just for me. And I, I want yes, that title. Yes. I never need any <laughs> other title ever again. Like that title is for me. Herald of Galactus. 100%. I never at no point, no matter what title they print from here on out, it, it, like I don't need it. I have Herald of Galactus. <laughs> that's true. When I saw that title, as the first person I thought about was you. Funny enough. Yeah, first person. You, yeah. I thought about was you. I, I put a huge smile on my face when I read it. It was it was awesome. You gotta get it. You gotta get it. I mean, I feel you because the same way I have the um, I got them variants. I don't think I need any other title from there too. No, you really don't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm keeping that title forever. I'm good. I have. It's nice when you find a a a title that's particularly fitting uh, for you. You know, it's like ah, oh, this is awesome. Good old fashioned disappointment to my family over here. (laughs) (laughs) And then, of course, (laughs) this season um, we have some new series five cards coming to the pool starting, uh, I believe, next week and the week after. Uh, we have No, which everybody's looking to get, oh coming out on twelve thirteen. His ability is the ongoing is has the combined power of all the cards destroyed this game. So I already know we're all thinking the same thing. Galactus and Null, great yes. team. This is just going to be bananas. It's never been but a better team up. <laughs> wow. All I can say is wow. So I currently am at thirty something, thirty eight hundred in my tokens. I'm saving up. I'm not getting no other card. I'm waiting for Null to show up. Um, what is your guys' take on the Null card? I'm sure you guys both want it, especially Willow. Um, how do you guys feel about this card? Is it going to break the meta? Uh, breaking the meta is a really strong uh, phrase. I'm obviously very excited about Null. I've got my 6,000 tokens uh, ready to go, and I've been playing a lot of uh, Galactus on stream. And uh, my chat's been doing the math for me every time I would play Destroyer, how much Null would have been. Uh, So I'm probably just putting Null because Destroyer, he seems to always just be more power than uh, Destroyer, which is awesome in that deck. Right. Um, So obviously I'm really looking forward to the card. As far as meta breaking is concerned, it's uh, it's probably less about Null and more about the surrounding 11 cards you can put into the deck. Because obviously Null's effect's really powerful. It's just up to the consistency of the other 11 cards. Uh, and whether he gets there or not. If he's not broken yet, he will be one day. <laughs> so it's just, <laughs> it's just a matter of uh, uh, how consistent we can make that package. Hmm. That's fair. And then, what about you? I, I mean, it's hard to also define a meta with Series 5 cards. You sure. know, like... I'm probably not going to see him for weeks on end. I still haven't seen my entire Series 5 rotation yet. And we're a week and a half in almost. So, yeah, you should do it pretty soon. Mathematically, it should be impossible for you not to have seen it all pretty soon, right? I'm still, I still have to see Bost and Shuri. I'm on my third helicarrier. Oh, but, uh, yeah. I suppose mathematically, you're never th- theoretically, you could infinitely see uh, series three, huh? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, that's true. I got, I got so, trolled right. last week of absorbing man Mbaku, absorbing <laughs> man Mbaku. Yeah, so, nice. Wow, you yeah, have that many series four cards. Yeah, I mean, I only have She-Hulk and Colson. Wow. And Cage, I have Cage. Me too. But I like, what's, I still have what seven that I haven't gotten from Series Four. Then how did you? It should it shouldn't have been possible for you to see Mbaku absorbing man, Mbaking, Mbaku absorbing man. That unless was, they were your only Series Four. Th- so the thing is that I I learned out of this is that each rotation is not the same order. Oh no 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 yeah yeah so that would make sense so the. Mbaku absorbing them, absorbing them was your last card, and then yeah, Mbaku right. was your first and then second card in the next rotation. Okay, I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. yeah. So I had the same problem, and I, I thought it was an issue, and Val cleared it up for me because I was like, wait a minute. I was, I was ready to hop in that fucking Discord so fast. <laughs> yes. I need 2,000 tokens now. You got exactly. you were funded for this. Yeah. So Val cleared it up for me. I'm like, right, that makes sense now. So yeah, I totally agree. Um, we're going to let's see how the rotation goes. I mean, I'm hoping to get null early or. At that time, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, but I am passing up on Bass. I am passing up on Valkyrie for the time being. And of course, Umbaku, uh, I'll wait for that as well. And then we have Sentry. Um, cannot be played at the right location. On reveal, add a negative eight power, the void of, to the right location. So as I understand that, can be played on the right. So you play in the left or the middle. It will add negative eight to the right location. How great yep. is this card going to be, and in, in what deck do you think it's going to work out well with? Um, four four eight is a good stat line. Uh, it's crossbones stat lines. Crossbones is uh got a pretty 
big downside is that you need to be winning the location. Sentry's downside is that uh, he puts negative eight power on the right side. It it is disappointing that it's always the right side. Mm. So there's no um, there's no flexibility if you're playing Sentry. You have to essentially have a plan for what you're doing on the right side. Maybe you're just giving it up. Maybe you're destroying it somehow with Carnage or something. Um, maybe you're giving it to the opponent with Viper. Uh, but overall, as of right now, I don't see a good home for Sentry. He's going to be an awkward card. I'm certainly not spending my tokens on Sentry. <laughs> but uh, but I, there's a world where this card is playable. It's just uh, it's not a package that I can put together in my mind just yet. I'd have to do a lot more thinking about it. But for now, I'm not... He seems kind of weird, but so no, no Galactus is on scary. four or Galactus no, on five no, no, no. <laughs> and him on six. No, not happening. <laughs> no, 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 crossbones might be better doing that. Oh no, crossbones would probably be worse because we probably lose. Uh, we're probably, we're probably not winning at the time. But yeah, I he's just uh, it's just a bit too awkward for my taste. He's very awkward. He's very yeah, awkward. I totally get that. He's gonna sit in that pool and keep spinning around because nobody's picking. There him up. is there, there is, is a um... sort of location like hot location that maybe makes it viable but there, there might be a world there's there's already a deck that um uh, like two seasons ago i hit infinite with it i called it kick kick rocks and it's just it's kind of just the give them stuff deck you know you, you run your right. your vipers your debris all of that stuff um and that felt pretty successful with a card like uh spider woman i wonder if that deck actually you can just plug in sentry and be okay with it because it already runs viper and has a lot of good interactions with viper so maybe you can just chuck viper because the the viper interaction with sentry is genuinely a, a good combo i mean it's, it's 16 power in in total um right right well actually it's 19 power in total for the if you count the vipers energy Viper. as well so uh, yeah so uh, uh, that is no joke it's just uh that type so, of archetype doesn't really see a ton of play at least at not, uh, not at a high level anyway yeah some big brain plays there so we'll see how that goes um and then we have dark Hark, which uh ongoing Plus two power for each card in your opponent's deck. Oh my god, I so misread this and thought it was <laughs> plus two power to each card in your opponent's deck. And I was racking my brain with why <laughs> you would ever play that as a four one. Okay, Jesus. Yeah. Had a real moment there. <laughs> so uh, as your opponent uh, keeps that cards in their hands, you just sorry, yeah. sorry, guy. That no, no, is a bit yeah. of a delay. Yeah, it's all right. So yeah, as as your opponent keeps cards in their hand, this card get plus two power. No, it's, it's cards for in, that are in the deck. I mean, sorry, yeah, in the deck. Sorry, yes, yeah. correct. So the best interactions for him are obviously your Korgs, your Rock Slides. Black Widow is theoretically, technically one plus one card in the deck because it's one draw that they're missing. Right. Um, honestly, the card seems really fun. The yeah. Rock, the yeah. Rock decks. The biggest downside right now with the Rock decks is you don't really have. Uh, any like power that you can put on the board outside of disruption stuff. So Darkhawk's a decent amount of power, even without the opponent drawing any cards. He's a, uh, without, sorry, without putting any extra stuff in the opponent's deck, uh, in theory, he's a four seven, uh, without any other external effects happening, uh, which is pretty good stats. Like it's, it's nothing to, uh, it's nothing to sneeze at. It's, it's, it's pretty good. So a couple rocks in the opponent's deck, he starts becoming a four eleven. That's pretty good. Uh, is, this, is this the yeah. card that makes people like turn on subterranea? <laughs> True. Yeah. Good subterranean yeah. interaction. Yeah. The first ever card. I think it would probably be the first card that you could just put in your deck that feels decent into subterranea. Like the first time where you like see subterranea flip and you're like, oh, that's good. That's great. Um, yes. <laughs> I want to play with yeah. Dark Arc. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, it is a series five card, so it's gonna cost six thousand tokens. Um, is this a card that you guys are willing to spend those six thousand tokens on? No, no. I, I have. Uh, sorry for a bit for a bit of a tangent, but I I want people no, to be aware of this. It. Okay, the series treat series five and series four as like pre order early access because every single one of these cards, I think, with the exception of like Thanos and Galactus, are all eventually. And again, we don't actually know this. This is just my assumption i think all of these cards are eventually going to be in series three and if mm -hmm. you're a series three full collection guy right now you know how easy it would be if these cards are in series three we would have all of them already so yeah. <laughs> again treat your tokens yeah. as a uh, currency to get early access to cards and evaluate any of these new cards as do i want to spend to get early access to this card because i will get this card eventually when it rotates down 
but the spending of it is essentially just i want this card now do you think that's why we can't buy tokens yes part yeah. of it yeah 100%. i think that is exactly why we can't buy tokens because if people were buying tokens to buy these cards they're just going to be sad when it rotates down to series three and it's going to feel bad that's why we've got such a no refunds yeah kind of thing going on that makes sense yeah Correct. so for example null is a card i really really want because he fits mm -hmm. into an archetype that i really really enjoy so i'm going to get early access to null by purchasing him and then uh for cards like dark hawk and sentry which do interest me more so dark hawk than sentry i'm actually quite excited about dark hawk but for a card that i'm less excited about than say null i'm going to just wait until dark hawk appears in my series three or until maybe i'm lucky enough to pull him from collector's track You've been blessed already for that, so I'm sure you. I got a Luke Cage today cards. as well, by the way. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I got Luke Cage, too, but listen, you see what I'm talking about? It, you're blessed. You're gonna have all three of these cards right when they come out. It's totally fine. No, we'll no, just watch no. your streams for sure. I don't know what, <laughs> what magic you have, Willow, but that's I'm, listen. You're blessed. I love it. Um, but yeah, no, I totally agree. I think that's the reason why we can't buy tokens. Um, that's why tokens are so scarce, but it's not really scarce. I mean, because I purchased a few cards and I have about 4,200 right now because, of course, you get 400s and 100s tokens in the um, the collecting cash. So, I mean, at, at this point, I totally agree with you. It's save your tokens up for the cards you want to get early access to and don't spend them on it every and everything. I mean, we, like you said, the beta players with Series 3, we got every card. So now our mentality is I want every card. So every card we see show up in the shop, it's quick to say I'm just going to buy it so I can have it. But mm. no, I think you really need to hold off yeah. and get be the as cons be as conservative as possible if, with your tokens, and don't let other people make token decisions for you. Don't ask people: Is She Hulk worth it? Is X card worth it? If you have to ask the question, just chill out, save those tokens. That's a good point. Pin it, I like think that. About it. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I you like can that. also pin it and think about it. Yeah. That that's true too. And then, of course, we have the locations, the hot locations for this season so far. Um, we are playing Lamentus 1 currently. And that one is draw three cards and destroy both decks. Now, the animation behind this is phenomenal. Okay. Every time it shows up, it looks so great, yes. Um, I know a lot of people on the interwebs are complaining about it. They don't want to play until it's gone. <laughs> it destroys <laughs> their decks. They can't play the decks the way they want to. That's the point. And I, exactly. <laughs> I think between Death and Silver Surfer, um, those cards and yeah, those cards alone, I think help with Lamentis and kind of makes the game feel way more, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Way more fun. You could try different things, right? You could try getting the Agent 13s, get the, the White Queens, get the different cards that can, even the Thors, right? To help you get these cards you need out once your deck is destroyed and try to win the game so i think it's fun i think it's extremely fun um what's your take on it val how you feel about lamentus the funniest thing to me about lamentus one is it's sort of in a way not quite but in a way it's like tva but if tva was seven or six turns it it's essentially doing the same thing you're only seeing seven cards and theoretically i guess it kind of depends on when it shows up but like a little over half of your deck and just kind of pushing you in the direction of like, can, can you build a deck that has multiple archetypes that can work when it's pared down? And I think this is a really good location to bring into the game to sort of teach people that it's not just throw all your discard cards in one deck, throw all your move cards in one deck. You, you can't, you can't play for a turn six win. You need to be right. winning throughout the game. And I don't know. I, I absolutely love it. That said, I was playing a deck so heavily focused on Silver Surfer and winning like crazy. I went up 23 ranks today and hit infinite playing Lamentus. And like, I don't know. I, I had a blast with it. I think it's it's fun mind games. You know everything that's going to happen throughout the game on your side of things. No, I had a blast. I, I yeah. sort of get where people are coming from, but I don't know. Suck it okay. up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Willow, what's your take on this one? 
I had a roller coaster of emotions for Lamentis. I'm, I'm normally with featured in hot locations. I am the most neutral person ever. Like I, I don't have like a, a strong opinion one way or another. But like the first hour of this location, I absolutely hated it because uh, I've been playing nothing but Galactus. Galactus is all I want to play for like the next year. So, um, and, but and I thought in my in my mind I was like, oh, Lamentus is perfect for Galactus, and it kind of is. It's a great location for Galactus because it draws our cards, um, and that's exactly what we want to be doing. And we know exactly how our game's going to play out after we've drawn those three cards. It's quite literally the perfect Galactus location, but. The cards that people are running during this location are really good at countering Galactus's strategy. So, like, their deaths, their arrows, all of this stuff uh, is very, very powerful against uh, Galactus. So, I had a really rough time. Uh, I eventually just decided to give up, and I'm playing a deck that Mr. Metal made, and it's just literally free cubes. It's 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 disgusting how good that deck is right now with Lamentis. Plus, I get to run Shuri and She-Hulk, which he doesn't get to run in his version. So, I'm probably getting even more cubes than he is. So, uh, really I've gone good. from... I've gone from absolutely hating this featured location to absolutely loving it. I uh, totally get that. I'm, I'm with you. I'm playing a surfer deck as well with, like I said, with White Queen and and um, Death <laughs> and uh, She-Hulk yep. and Armin Zola and Wave. So, I mean, yeah, it's been great playing with uh, Lament playing Lamentis. Uh, I, think it's a, I think it's great, though. I think it's just overall it's a great location to switch things up right because we always get location that gives us power or locations that take power or look this is just straight destruction of your decks <laughs> and uh play what you got left and i love that that is that is phenomenal uh, we do have some other locations coming up we have clintar or um yeah clintar which um now states after turn four merge your cards here into a symbiote that's gonna be intriguing i I wonder how that's going to work. What do you guys think? So the symbiote, I believe, is just a, 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 the vanilla stats of it is just 1-1. One, one, and then right. all of your cards there get merged into it the same way it would be with like a, a Hulkbuster. But but with every card at the location. Uh, at first I was like, oh, this is just another great location for um, uh, Death Wave. But I don't actually think the merging will count as destruction. So... The location is probably net neutral for most decks. It's probably I'm I'm struggling to think of something that you could particularly benefit from that effect from, but I, I don't see it in my mind. So the Maybe. one thing that I thought you could really benefit from is is sort of just utilizing Killmonger late in the game because it is a one. Oh yeah, energy. <laughs> like you're not going to be able to utilize Killmonger like in the way of getting a bunch of kills and dropping your death or anything, but like to just eliminate their symbiote. Yeah. This might be one of those featured locations that eventually turns into just essentially a non featured location, because what has happened for the first hour is I think people will go for synergy. And then the second hour, people will be just hard countering it with Electra and Killmonger. And then everyone will be like, okay, I'm bored of this and just play their normal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. That is fair. And then we have Vormir, which is the first card you play here is destroyed. So I think it doesn't matter what turn. I think once you play that card there, the card, the first card you play there, it will be destroyed. Um, I think this is great for Electro, right? Drop Electro there, bye-bye. And now Ooh. you have all the wonderfulness you need without worrying about Electro's ongo um, ongoing of allowing you only to play one card. So okay. I think that's a good location. I think it's going to be fun. A lot of people are going to use this for, I'm sure, even you know dropping Winter Soldier or dropping... You know, a, a, a beefed up um, Deadpool. Um, I think it's something like that's domain. I feel, but it, I could be wrong. Uh, what's your guys' take on it? That seems right. Uh, I, I hope it's not every turn, because that would that would be clunky and hard to deal with. Right. Um, Just based on the two locations we're looking at here, I'm assuming it's not every turn because Mor Morag explicitly states right. each turn where Vormir does not, and there's not like a character limit. There's not a character limit problem on Vormir, so I would assume if it was each turn, it would say uh, each, each turn. turn. So yeah, so it's a bit different than Death Domain because you only have to sacrifice one card into it to be able to start playing. Um, oh, that's, oh, that's really that's really thematic. I like that by the way. Uh, the, being only having to sacrifice the one card is. Uh, is quite nice for a lot of decks like you said the electro and then you know death waves happy to destroy anything whenever it can so right. cool location i think yep should be good 
All right, then we have more rag, which is you can't play your first card here each turn. Interesting. Very intriguing. So you can't play your first card here each turn. Wow. So, I wonder. I would assume that means the first card you drop can't be at yeah, Morag. Correct. And correct. not like first card in your hand. Because again, yeah, same thing. We'd probably say the first card, you can't play the first card in your hand here each turn. Right. This will be the so, first location that's checking, at least in my knowledge, it'll be the first locations that's checking for stuff you do during the lock in phase, like when you're putting in things. Because you'll be able, like, you won't be able to place cards here, right? And then you'll place a card and then you will be able to place. Your, your second card here and then if you undo all your action it's like it's just strange right. it'll be the first card that like modifies your your little lock-in phase during the lock-in phase um yeah that's that's kind of weird but it's a cool location nonetheless it helps uh <laughs> it helps arrow players a lot it's kind of it's kind of oh, degenerate how up to, how how awesome it is for arrow players because Arrow players usually play a second card on turn six. It's going to be really hard for people to put cards into here. So people are going to put all their cards elsewhere. You're going to play your death elsewhere, and then you're going to arrow them over to Morag, and there's going to be nothing they can do about it. Uh, that's very true. Very, very true. It's also, yeah, you're right. It also changes the, the way, like you said, the priority you play your cards. So that's very interesting. This is going to be a very interesting location. I mean, all of these locations that are, I think, fun fun new ways to see how well you can really play <laughs> that's the way i look at it yeah of course uh, these are all really cool designs by the way now that we've gone over all of them we talked about where they would uh what cards might be good with them uh i just want to say i think each of these are uh fantastically designed i think they're all really really fun so Agreed. i'm looking forward to each of them but nice to see clintar come back too uh yes for those that didn't play in the beta clintar you might if you're watching the video you might see cards here have negative two power Clintar became Necrotia at some point, and right. Clintar is back. I think yes, at the time is. we were all like, anyone who didn't know was just like, "What the? What is a Clintar? What? <laughs> yes, you know what Clintar is." Yep, but that's cool. That is awesome. They definitely they nailed it. getting uh, the th the thematic like uh, location interaction down versus what it was. Yeah, I can't wait to see the animation for these if they are, if they do have animations. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm sure should. Yeah. Vormir oh, like, better just be like a, like something falling off the cliff. Oh, <laughs> that's that'd be toxic. so awesome. <laughs> that'd be awesome, though. That would be awesome. While we're talking, uh, while we're talking about thematic, I do hope that the Clintar merging the symbiotes for some reason counts oh, as yeah. destruction, despite not, uh, despite not saying destruction. I hope it does count as destruction because all of the symbiote stuff um, is all very so destruction far. heavy in the game. Yeah. 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 It's gonna be like Gamma Lab though, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, I do think it's gonna just be like Gamma Lab or Hulkbuster or whatever, but I want it to be destruction. I, I also so. want it to be destruction. <laughs> yes. It might be a great. little bit maybe might be a little too heavy on the destruction this month if it is, but oh, that's okay. Eh, what are you gonna do? Why always... not? All, all of these are destruction. Well, except Morag, but why not? Yeah, why not? I mean, it'd be why not? It'd be, it'd be amazing. We'll see what happens. And then of course, oh, these also. Are stages that we all are familiar with the backs of building of a delay hala and gamma lab will also be featured locations this season um this is awesome guys i i really i'm enjoying this season so far um i definitely don't see anything that could have been added to where i'm like you know what i wish we had this i wish we had besides another card back in the rank <laughs> but uh i think so far so good I, i'm enjoying it I can't wait for the next steps. Um, what are you guys looking forward to right now? Uh, bundles. I'm looking forward to more bundles for more tokens. I know there's only uh, data mine spoilers, I guess. There's only one bundle coming that actually has tokens again. But um, some of the some of the variants for the bundles are just amazing. The There's a Sailor Moon looking Sarah out there. There's some anime rogues. And wow. gambits, there's some there's some really good stuff coming. Um, I, yeah, I can't wait for the hot tub sunspot. Hot tub sunspot. God, I just want to spend more money yeah. on this game. What is wrong with me? It's it's gonna <laughs> happen. It is going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. It's a problem how much money I want to spend on the game. I went to go buy the the new Hearthstone expansion yesterday. I'm like, do I really want all of these new cards when I could alternatively 
get cool variants in Marvel <laughs> Snap. Wouldn't that be awesome? So I cool uh, didn't just by <laughs> buying Midnight Suns last week, which was one of my most anticipated games this year because I was just like, I'm just gonna be playing so much Snap that like I don't really yeah. have time or the money right now. That money's got to go to Snap. <laughs> I, I was in the exact yeah. same situation, more so on the time thing for that, because I didn't have uh, all of these cool bundles to spend money on at the time. But I, I couldn't help myself from avoiding Midnight Suns because I was like, they just put Galactus in the game. I'm not going to want to play literally anything for like the next three months. <laughs> and that's where we are, guys. That's exactly where we are right now. I feel the same way. I broke out of war. The the big oh. collector's edition with the <laughs> hammer. <laughs> I spent some money on that, and I haven't touched it in some time right now. I feel bad, but I've been ten hours into God of War for hundreds of hours of my life at this point. It's bad. It's, yeah, you see what I mean. This is what I'm talking about. But uh, we're not complaining because we definitely no, enjoy Snap. That's not, that, but... not a complaint. <laughs> not at all. Um, but yeah, the next thing I really can't wait to see is the battle pass. I mean, the battle, the battle yeah. mode. Yeah, yep. PVPs. Um, I heard that it's being pushed back, so maybe early next year. Oh, Ooh, that's what I heard. That uh, where are you hearing things, Ken? I, okay, I, I I'm I hearing can, things. Yeah. I heard. I don't know. Somebody told it, yes. me that's unfortunate, mm. but honestly, get it right. I'm, I, you know, yeah. if you come from a, a long life of video games and video games that should have been delayed, push it back. Yeah, get it right. I'm cool with that. I want it, but get it right. Yeah, I'm cool to wait. Uh, well, I say that it's a good community sentiment to be cool to wait, but I'm one. dying on the Damn inside. Yeah, I'm yes. dying on the ah! inside. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I mean, but, but really, I mean, okay, the tokens, right? Back to that. I think that's the reason why this is so great that tokens are kind of scarce because not everyone will have the same cards. So when battle, battle mode comes out, it's not like you gear where it's all right i got the same cards you got the same cards let's see who plays what first right it's more so everybody's cards could be different which i think is amazing um yeah. but but what happens to everything when battle pass come out meaning is the community going to be as they are now which everybody's amazing or would it get so competitive like Yu Gi Oh, where things start to get real toxic. Yeah, what's it's gonna get what, so toxic? What, exactly. Not, that's, what do you guys think? That's the question I have for you guys. It's gonna get toxic, but I think it's gonna be like the fun kind of toxic, where like it sort of gets pigeonholed off right. the side of like, oh yeah, and there's this battle mode, and if you if you get in there, just be prepared. If you're running into random matches, it's gonna see you're gonna see some shit. Right. Um, as somebody who streams, I am a little worried about, you know, wanting to play games with viewers, but like, how often is it just going to be like, well, your game's right there. I'm just, yeah, what you're playing, you know, is that yeah, going to be fun and doable? Right. I think there's, there's, there's more or less going to be a split where there's going to be right now. There's this, everyone who's in infinite is perceived as like a certain type of, of, of player. And when, I think there's going to be a, a battle mode divide where there's going to be like content creators, uh, like everyone here, uh, and they're going to uh, split off and essentially do their own thing with 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 battle mode. I think there's going to be a lot of cool content creation stuff happening with battle mode. And there's going to be the uh, the more competitive people who are doing like tournaments and stuff. And I think you'll see a very competitive attitude there. And you'll see some of that attitude kind of bleed over a little bit into our content spaces. Oh, for sure. Um, so, so yeah, there'll be kind of two different mindsets about it. I think I'm really excited for uh, battle mode content creation stuff because lots of fun stuff you can do with that. Oh yeah, for sure. Tournaments and giving away prizes and stuff like that. It's gonna be fun on that level. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure. Like I said, that was my only concern. Like I think a lot of things are gonna change. It'll get real toxic, real quick. I think, um, but maybe not. Maybe the battle mode will make things a little bit less toxic who knows either way i can't wait for it either i can't wait to be able to just have a a lobby everybody's in there we're having a good time so um but like somebody told me it's coming later I, again i could be wrong don't, don't take my word for it but when it comes let's be ready let's be excited um when do you yes. think we're going to see the new roadmap guys i know they mentioned it prior to the cosmic season when do you guys think we'll see it i i'm gonna guess um like three, two to three weeks into the month, in the same way that we got an early announcement on Power Cosmic, I say like the okay. week before Christmas, probably we get 
<clears throat> we get a short five minute video. They start talking about next month and they give us a, a new roadmap. I, I think that's, that's probably that sounds about right. I, I yeah, would love true. to see early videos again. Like I really enjoyed that. They were just like, all right, we know that, you know, Wakanda's still going, but we wanted to give you a little heads up on what to expect. I like that. I think that builds hype uh, very well for the community. Yeah, I think the, the most recent time they did that was a pretty exceptional case. I mean, even after the release of uh, the token shop, there were still people very confused about how that worked. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm very glad that they gave us that heads up. Um, battle mode probably doesn't need that big of a heads up, but I think they're going to treat their roadmap in their season um, thing a, a little bit differently. So I, my guess is that we get a big season update the same time we normally knew, uh, normally do, and then a little bit before that we'll get our roadmap update. Maybe like a week or two before that. That's my guess anyway. The the previous roadmap video was just by itself, right? It was just Yeah, yeah, it was a separate out, thing. Like, here's 10 yeah. minutes. Of, okay, cool. Fun At least I it. think so. I might be not remembering that correctly, but No, I think you're right. They basically showed a hectic time in yeah. Snap it was yeah. with like two yeah. patches so close to each other launch coming up new cards yeah 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 it was very yeah <laughs> very hectic for them too um so yeah i mean at this point i'm still in the honeymoon phase of snap i heard somebody said that they're getting out of the honeymoon phase i mean have you guys seen anybody drop out of snap i mean of course i know people who didn't make infinite last season they probably feel away now but have you guys experienced that where people are feeling like, you know what, the honeymoon phase is over for them? I haven't seen it personally. I've seen, you know, articles trying to call that sort of thing. Yeah. And to me, that just feels like clickbait. And Agreed. it's, you know, your, your, your title is obviously I whine on the internet. Um, <laughs> like you, don't, you don't have like to that. love it all the time. It's a live service game. If you don't like things, be vocal respectively is the way I look at it. And that I think fair. that's the best way to make a change. Personally, loving it. So I don't know. I, I, I haven't seen like, I guess there's a number of, of streamers that have sort of like slowed down a bit for sure. Right. Yeah. But like, I feel like it's a quiet, like walk away might come back at some point. That is fair. I totally get that. Yeah. We've been playing it for six months now, right? five six nine months nine. yeah since, months? since may yeah nine months what month are we in now we in december <laughs> june july august september october november oh, you're right by eight nine months wow, eight, eight really months? Count. nine months <laughs> wow oh my god i yeah, feel like i started eight. playing this game yesterday right beta, Jesus. Yeah. So new. yeah the beta in may i started playing i remember that very well and that, uh 26 or something on my i can't phone. believe it's nine months i feel like i'm even yeah. lied to and, was, <laughs> and guys i'm still loving it well clearly we are all still loving it so yeah, I don't right know. we're here yeah oh wow nine May months. 23rd. Why i've been saying it was See, six right, months me. yeah end of may for me that's crazy i've been saying it was six months and i thought i was overestimating me too, it. Me too. i've been saying five, i thought i was months. overestimating it i was that, underestimating it by three months <laughs> value value awesome bro because i every streamer that comes in i've been playing the beta since five six months ago it's been nine months yeah jesus may, end of may on my android pixel phone because that's the only time the beta was oh out for it wasn't right. for ios right. it was on android and i carried this pixel phone around me in hot spot for my iphone it was <laughs> so i went to a birthday party dinner and I had my phone on the table and I'm playing. They're like, what game is that? Don't ask me any questions. Happy birthday. <laughs> 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 so, and that was the end of May. So, wow. Nine months. Jeez. Ladies and gentlemen listening, we, this game is phenomenal. <laughs> if you guys are listening, I'm sure you guys know that. Nine months later, you will still be loving this game. Yeah. Don't give up. I, I, give up. <laughs> I have faith in the 10-year plan. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, listen, I bought into Destiny on the 10-year plan and i got burned <laughs> yeah. i bought into halo infinite on the 10-year plan i might not be as burned no, halo is good right now halo's got a good patch it's good. Uh, it's good we were going to talk yeah. about this later after after the, the podcast okay. Okay. <laughs> and uh i think i think i won't get burned this time i think i think this is uh, 10 years sounds okay here i'm okay yeah. no, I, I i believe them they they know what they're doing yeah they're smart cookies over there yeah uh I Keep giving us a drip. Just keep it nice and slow. Yeah. No need to give us it's everything at once. Just keep the bag yeah. full, baby. Just keep, that's it. 
Wait, it is exciting. We're officially in a one card a week mode now. I know. We're we're here. We're in one yeah. card a week mode. Yeah. You know how scary that is. I only have six thousand tokens to work with, brothers. <laughs> you know Help! How I miss you've you've never. This is the first time you've seen this card. I missed that animation so much. Right up until I saw Thanos for the first time. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah. And I saw every lot. stone. Every stone came up and said it. Yes, that's hilarious. Oh, oh my gosh. I did. Yeah, you're right. I did say I missed that. I did. Wow, guys. Wow. A card a week. Oh, this is gonna be. I hope that similar to what they were doing with the um Nexus events at first. I hope that when we enter a new season, they give our update for the new card. In this case, Silver Surfer. They also tell us the cards that are coming uh each week because they've done that now with yeah yeah, they've done that now with Null. But I hope they continue to do that. that. I almost yeah. feel like it's like, well, you guys are going to data mine this anyways. So here, here's the schedule. You go. I'm yeah. not sure they, because from what I understand, they, they more or less like throw it into the game. I don't think that that needs to be like, I don't think it's scheduled in the programming. I could be wrong. Maybe it is. Because yeah, it's already, it's already in the game, right? Yeah. So it just kind of needs to flip that switch, unlock it, make it collectible. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong about that because hot locations and featured locations are both scheduled into the game's right. Like, right. code. But, Which is um, why we all kind of already knew that Null was coming next week because it's Clintar's location. Yeah. Right. Don't say we all, oh, okay? Initially, that was a Mr. Metal hot take that no that one was, believed. The second he said that, I was like, oh, that just makes so much sense. I'm running with that. Yeah. yeah let's go. There you go. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, listen, they continue to do that and just let us know what cards are coming. I think that'd be great. Um, like I said, I, I don't think free to play players are at any disadvantage at this moment. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think if you're not paying to, to play the game, I, I, you're going to, you're going to come through some struggles a little bit. I think so. Just a little bit, not, not too much, but you will. I think once you hit full, cause really your goal as a free to play player, don't think about four and five. In fact, I would argue don't even purchase yeah, yeah. any of them. Okay. Just, yeah. just chill with your tokens. I would argue don't spend any tokens if you're not full series three. Okay. I would just hoard them like crazy. Except I would focus on getting. So, did you say except for Sarah? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. One of three cards that I actually recommend to buy. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Or maybe you feel like one card away from building like Death Wave or whatever, buy it. Uh, sure. it's, right. Yeah. But uh, in general, your goal should be finishing your Series 3 collection and then essentially treat that as full collection because that is full collection. That, that, right. that is what it is. And uh, I'm really looking forward to the, the roadmap update or whenever they're officially going to reveal what I'm about to say, which is I want to know how quickly stuff is rotating in and out because my assumption is that it's and again this is assumption no one run with this but uh my assumption is that five will drop down to three over the course of say like four months and four will drop down to three oh sorry five will drop down to four over the course of say like four months and then three will drop over the course of say like two months or or maybe it'll be the same schedule but regardless there'll be that type of window and from there you can more reasonably allocate your tokens because if you know right. that this series four card here is going to be series three in two months i'll just hold for a card i'm more excited about because I, again I go, ahead. Go. No, go ahead but, uh, because again for the for the full series three collection people all of those cards as soon as they rotate down to season three are like legit free for us we're going to get them like so fast like it, right it's going to be we're not even going to need to spend uh credits tokens. Well, yeah, artificial yeah. yeah we're not even going to need to spend gold to get credits or anything like that we're just going to naturally get them. It's going to be super, super easy if they're in series three. I mostly agree with that. Um, I would say the one thing is as soon as the depreciation starts, pay attention to what doesn't go down. And that's where you spend your tokens for real. Like yeah. if, if Thanos, no Galactus don't drop in that first batch, I, I don't expect them to ever drop. I don't think Null will drop in the first batch because I think everything that's Series uh, 4, or well, not everything, but let's say three cards from Series 4 are going to be the first to drop down to Series 3, and then three cards from 4 will drop down to 4 because those three new cards are getting added now to uh, right. to 5. Right. So it'll yeah, always be a rotation of 3 going in and out, I think. Exactly. I think there's always going to be a parity. There's going to be a set number. Here's the, you know, 21 series four cards Mm -hmm. and here's the 21 series five cards yeah and then it just always just drops down every month cycle that makes sense yep you guys are here first okay hold (laughs) on to your tokens 
all these series four and series five cards will go down to series three eventually not right now hopefully we actually to be fair i don't think we actually i don't think we have direct confirmation that stuff is going down to three but it would make sense Uh, it does make sense you're right but yeah definitely guys sarah oh my god yeah i don't know it's tough to say not to buy sarah i totally agree with you on that though um that's but yeah i get that question a lot and i'll say it here the one three cards almost four sarah mystique wong wave if you're desperate and you're in the middle of pool three maybe spend your tokens there but like i i want to stay uh, side with willow on this and just don't because you're gonna get so fast if you if you like don't ever fucking play the game and you really need a card or two fine but like yeah you really should hold you're yeah, really- you might be feeling bad if you're a new series three player because it feels slower from them when you were in series two. It's but so trust fast. me, series three is so fast, you'll be fine. I it promise. Is faster a week ago, like just play, man. Uh, just yeah. play, yeah, yeah. and you're good. Have a good time. You know what? Buy the variants, buy the ultimate variants because then <laughs> you're going to be able to cl- increase your collection. Well, don't, I'm joking. That's <laughs> true. The ultimate variants will 100% be ultimate variants forever, right? So, I mean, well, yeah. not 100%. I guess I could change something. Do but you guys in theory, know anyone who's bought those yet? Either of them? Uh, I did I see I one of. person in Mr. Metal's chat immediately before recording this podcast say that. That said that they bought both of them just for the memes. It doesn't help that one of them's a, uh, what's what's the second one? One's Namor and what's the other the one? Ghost Ghost Rider. Rider. Fantasy Ghost Rider looks dope. Yeah, it doesn't cool, help it. that it's it doesn't help that it's Namor and Ghost Rider. Like it no doesn't. one's no one's yeah. running these cards right now. So, no. um, wow, just for the memes. There's huh? some cool. I think all the null variants are probably gonna be. Yeah, mm-hmm. like you got to put the really good ones in there, right? And like, what else? What else are you gonna get? I won't lie to you. I will buy that null Shang Chi for five thousand. I will. <laughs> I. That's that's wow. happening. Goodbye, five thousand tokens. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you can spend your tokens on much less, so that's fine. Do we do we know that those are never gonna be anywhere else for real? The tokens, the the ultimate variants. Oh, wait, well, for, for now, it seems to be the case that where else would they put them? They're not they're certainly not going to put them in the collector's track. They won't depreciate they're, super rares after they, three to four months. Uh, I think they should, maybe I think they that should. would that'd be interesting if it was essentially the same early access thing we were talking about now. Yeah, but I doubt it. Hmm. it may, maybe the I just don't see what? that I, as I, even being a bite for for whales, you know, no, like. No. Yeah, I can't I imagine. I, I probably spend. I definitely spend more than the average player, uh, and I I can't see myself with the exception of that Shang Chi variant that is never getting beaten by anything. Uh, I'm not going to spend five thousand on tokens. I would spend five thousand credits or gold. Yeah, <laughs> maybe yeah, gold. No, probably not gold. But credits, yeah. yeah, the to- sure. tokens is tokens has such a high value, especially because the early access thing we were just talking about. It's like, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, the last thing I would like to see is tokens be added to missions and oh. or events, right? Because I think even if it's 50 tokens, 100 tokens, I think it'd be nice to add them to missions to give people that sense of, hey, I'm getting missions to get X, Y, and Z. You know what? That, that, that could be abused a little bit on missions, but I could see uh, mission re- like weekly mission rewards. Right, right, right. Okay. That's yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. The too much. Maybe even... Maybe even like, uh, what was the old cap? Now it's 25. You need to do 25 30. mission. It used to be 30. Maybe yeah. they could like another one to the track where it's 30 and they give you tokens for that one. Totally. Right. Especially um, now that you roll over your rollover. Yes. Right. Rolls. Like, why not? That yeah. makes sense. That'd be good. Get on that. A- <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great, actually. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Or or when they do the, do the events, instead of giving us pixel um avatars of uh ironheart um which oh that's a good idea give us some tokens. that would that would get me to open up my phone which i currently don't do for the events i right. it's i only ever know because chat comes in and is like hey there's a new event it's like what <laughs> right. all right oh, right the phone i gotta use the phone okay sure just give me the tokens and i'll i'll use the phone all the time yeah <laughs> that's it yeah that's all the sad all. the sad reality of that though is as much as it's a nice idea it tokens being scarce is an intentional decision oh, yeah. 
It is yeah, so it is. Yeah. if they give us tokens through one of those methods that we just mentioned, it's not like it's going to be you know five hundred tokens. It's going to be no, like no, no. fifty or a hundred. That's why I said fifty to hundred. Yeah, that's yeah, fine yeah. by me. Yeah. I don't need anything more than that. At least you know, give me a reason to want to do the events. You know. Oh, while we're sort of still on the topic of ultimate variants, we still don't know what a mythic variant is, do we? No. No, we don't. We there's some signed variants out there though that have been data mined. Oh yeah, yeah the yes. dude. I, McCurry, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I might spend some tokens on that. That's pretty that's, sick. That's signed in a way that I didn't expect, and I, I guess maybe we don't say what it is. For yeah, those I think it's cool to leave it for a mystery deal. for those who don't want to know. That's, that's not yeah. what I expected when they said signed okay. variants, and I think it's pretty dope. It looks yeah. great. Yeah, I I guarantee you that's gonna come across even more so when you like you get like animated effects on that it's gonna look oh yeah yes. but, make, but make it 2000 gold though don't make it tokens make it 2000 gold <laughs> and i will buy it Hands it down. is a question if ult if, if mythics because tokens are significantly more valuable than uh gold and right. the ultimate variants they have right now are worth 5000 tokens begs the question how much is an ultimate i'm oh, sorry how much is a mythic variant going to cost whether it is token or gold, it's going to be a it's going to be a premium. Twenty five hundred gold. I'm down for that too. Keep it. I mean, keep God. it gold though. Keep it on the gold side. What if and they I'll, did something yeah. real dumb, where you had to fully split a card, like a certain number, like split a card like ten times, and you can unlock a variant or something like that. Like you mm -hmm. unlock a mythic variant when you split. Oh. 10 15 that's not bad one card that's not while bad. we're talking about the uh kind of the monetization in the collection stuff i want to mention something i thought about for fast upgrades which i think would improve the system okay what are check those? it out <laughs> so <laughs> just for catch up just in case someone genuinely doesn't know one of the options in the shop right now is fast upgrades and it's kind of like an inefficient way of upgrading your cards if you don't have boosters for them you pay a little bit more credits to uh, upgrade the card i would be okay to spend an inefficient number of credits if it took the card from whatever it is right now to splitting it instead of it just going up one upgrade. Oh, I like that. Because Galactus keeps showing up in my fast upgrade shop and I'm like, I would spend <laughs> however much credits required to split this right now, but you I am not, not spending. Alone. Yeah, but I would not spend the amount of the, the inefficient credits just to upgrade it once. If it took me all the way past a split, I'd be willing to make that sacrifice. I that don't hate that idea. I hate fast upgrades, but I don't hate that idea. Yeah. So, uh, second dinner, if you're listening, that's a you should get on that one. I like that one. It's probably yeah, bad sense. for them. It's it's probably a bad idea for them from a credit sync uh, perspective because the reason it exists is to get people who are struggling to upgrade cards to spend it. But I think the message has kind of gotten across to most people. That that isn't yeah, uh, very don't, efficient. Don't touch. <laughs> no, don't do it. Yeah, I mean, it, it. it all, all it took was one one time for all of us. I feel like to just go. Oh, yeah. I've fast you know, upgraded multiple times. Really? Because the second I saw a uh, interval, an integer of five in my credits when I had a ninety five credits, that was all it took for me to not never do it again because I had to do it again to get it back down to an even number. But. <laughs> Someone noticed that mine was on an integer of five and they like shamed me on shamed Discord. You? They like pinged me and I'm like, bro, I didn't even notice the integer of five. You'll be okay. I believe in you. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. But yeah, I mean, listen, if they do that, it'd be great. I think that'd be awesome for a lot of people, even myself. Yeah, I, I agree with you on that, Will. But let's see what happens. Um, until then, how do you guys oh, feel uh, right now? Yeah. On, on the booster on the booster topic mm. um kraken null who's a, a player in the community yeah. who's pretty cool um uh, made a big uh well not a big but he, he made a twitter post about how he was unhappy with the current booster system and steven yeah. uh who i believe is the product manager or something like that he's a, he's a big important guy at second dinner um and he responded that uh saying that he is aware that there's issues with uh targeting boosters and we will have a solution for that at some point right so that's cool that's get it out quick enough but yeah they're working on it that's good boosters are boosters are really hard to get for new cards <laughs> real hard to get especially on the new new cards yes Agreed. like michael once and you're just like okay now now what how do i 
Ooh. Like Galactus has been stuck on animated border for like four days. Someone <laughs> give this man boosters. Yes. I've, I've done boosters. a split one Galactus. That was it. I've split um, two and I'm on the last one for the third. My my goal, my my like approach to that has basically just been non-stop only splitting the cards in my Galactus deck. Yep, to same. Just try and keep yeah, the yeah. booster level yeah. down. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, no, like, no, my math isn't for that because it, that doesn't work out for me because I have thousands of boosters on all of these cards. Um, but but it's, but but I have been boosting. I have been trying to split the other cards in my Galactus deck because event. My current goal. Shh, I haven't told anyone this. My current goal is to Inkify my entire Galactus deck. Uh, so yeah. I got my first Inkify variant today, and my very first one. It was Silo. Oh, yeah, very. Yeah, happy. I did see that tweet. I did see that tweet. Very happy with it. it. Looks very nice. All right, awesome. can I give you guys a lukewarm take here? Don't like the Inkify. That's just a bad take. I understand, Listen, but I get it. Okay. Contrast is too high, and there's too shiny. Some cards, some cards. I agree with you. I, I, I do, but I do like. I do like some cards that are Inkify. Yeah, actually, you you... Know, I'm looking at it right now. The one, yeah. the one big prop I will give Inkify cards. It's it looks more like a card than any other card style. Yeah. Yes, that's true. I'll give it yes. that, but no, the contrast is just way too. Or yeah, yeah, contrast too shiny. Is too high. It's way too shiny. It's it's just like kind of blown out. Yeah, but it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool. Yeah. He's right. He's right. I, I like the the Imagine how yeah. imagine how demotivated you're gonna feel when I start playing my cards. You, you see the first ones Inkify, and you're like, oh, that's cool. And you see the second ones Inkify, and then I play all 12 cards in my deck somehow, and you see that every single one of them is Inkify. How demotivated are you as opponent? Huh? I mean, I beat Mr. Metal all the time, so yeah, it's not... but <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fine. But it's so cool. I really like the Psylocke being black and white. It's something about the aesthetic of that variant. That I have, yeah, it just yeah. it it, it like suits the black and white really nicely. I haven't like, seen any like with the new Infinity Border. I guess maybe that looks really dope. I'll let you know when I get Psylocke up there. And wait, hold on, I'm looking at one now. Actually, okay, it looks pretty dope. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> I had. <laughs> I've got an Agatha with it, so yeah, that looks. Oh, uh, of course, Agatha. I, have, I mean, if you were gonna have, I have an a Shang Chi one with Ooh. a bunch of Kirby dots on it. Yeah, mine's Kirby Dots too. Oh my god, I'm so jealous of that variant. Oh, that artist is one of my yeah, it's one of my that artist has some of my favorite variants in the entire game. Yeah, and I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, I, I think it all depends, but yeah, for sure. For audio only people, the variant we were talking about was uh, the Shang Chi who has the fist really close to the camera, and he's yeah. like uh, further back. It looks really cool. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you'll see it. Somebody, I think there Cozy Snapper, Cozy someone, Cozy Gamer, Cozy, cozy Gamer. Um, put out a tweet yesterday asking people to show off their variants, and I definitely had to show that one off. So, oh, very cool. Yeah. But yeah, guys, um, is there anything else you guys want to talk about before we sign off? Um, all set. Nothing. No, I think I'm all set. I'm sure right, we'll Chris. find something to complain about next week. Don't I'm about to say, yeah, yeah, Chris, sure. Chris, Chris is still the best card in the game? Still the best card. Undefeated. Right. There mm. you go. <laughs> it's all that matters, you know? Galactus is um, B tier, right? She's got amazing Lamentus one synergy. Uh, <laughs> can't sure recommend him. putting her in that deck enough. <laughs> Thor's been really fun with Lamentus. As long as we're mentioning Lament yeah. yeah, dude, Thor's great. Immediate hammer draw. Love it. Until you play him, and then you play him after Weird World shows up after Lamentus. Yeah, if you see Weird oh, World and you don't what? have priority, get what? out of there. What the madness that's, was that today? I was like, you know, bad bug. <laughs> wow. We're working as intended, I guess. Just yeah, run. it's crazy. And the opponent had collector, and I was like, oh yeah, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Retreat. <laughs> Retreat. That's um, gross. but yeah. All right, so yeah, we're planning to get on Infinite. We're definitely going to use that Coco deck or something similar to it. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Should be yeah. fun. Cool. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys. See you. Bye, everyone. Peace. <laughs>